Hello, my name is Ron Phillips, and I was honored to lead Pepperdine University School of Law as Dean for 27 years in its early days. Over that time, Pepperdine grew from a regional law school in Orange County to a nationally renowned legal institution in Malibu, all because of our dedicated faculty, wonderful students, and outstanding alumni. Despite its relative youth, our school has experienced amazing advancement, and particularly over the last several years. I hope that you enjoy this short video about the school's impressive progress and our goals for the future. Thank you and God bless. Pepperdine's special community and Christian mission have always allowed us to attract highly qualified students, welcoming our most academically qualified incoming classes for six consecutive years. We also continue to attract young and vibrant new professors who are committed to our students and to our mission, as well as adding nationally renowned scholars to our growing faculty, including Pulitzer Prize winning legal historian Ed Larson, leading real estate finance scholar Grant Nelson, and top arbitration scholar Tom Stepanowicz. Thanks to the dedication of the entire faculty, the Princeton Review has ranked Pepperdine Law as the number one school in the country for the third year in a row in the category of students' accessibility to professors. In 2007, Pepperdine Law restructured and expanded its career development office to better service students' needs. Now staffed with four experienced attorneys and two support staff, the career office is highly regarded by students for its excellence and individualized attention. Pepperdine now welcomes more legal employers each year to Malibu to recruit and hire our students. Pepperdine Law also boasts three innovative and mission-focused institutes and centers. Focusing on legal scholarship and theory, as well as real-world application and training, the Pepperdine Institutes have become leaders in both the domestic and global legal communities. Led by its director, Professor Bob Cochran, the Newt Barr Institute on Law, Religion, and Ethics examines the intersection of law and faith, welcoming legal scholars and religious leaders from across faith traditions for dialogue, debate, and symposia about the most pressing moral and legal issues of our time. Led by its director, Professor Janet Kerr, the Jeffrey H. Palmer Center for Entrepreneurship and the Law explores the overlap between business and law, envisions ways to build socially conscious enterprises, and offers students the opportunity to launch their own entrepreneurial ventures. The Palmer Center also hosts numerous conferences, including a presentation on microfinance by Nobel Peace Prize winner Mohammed Yunus and a forum on American corporate law featuring members of the Delaware Supreme Court. The Strauss Institute for Dispute Resolution has been ranked the number one dispute resolution program in the country for five consecutive years. Led by its co-directors, Professors Tom Stepanowicz and Peter Robinson, Strauss is the definitive voice in dispute resolution worldwide, hosting and sponsoring countless conferences and symposia in Malibu and around the globe, as well as offering students the unique opportunity to be trained by recognized leaders in this growing and increasingly important field of law. Pepperdine Law continues to expand its international footprint through study abroad opportunities and its global justice program. For nearly three decades, Pepperdine students have had the opportunity to spend summer or fall semesters studying at Pepperdine's campus, located in the heart of London. Pepperdine also offers study abroad opportunities in Germany, Denmark, and Israel through strategic partnerships with top international law schools. Pepperdine's Global Justice Program offers unparalleled opportunities for students to serve those in greatest need around the world. Partnering with organizations such as the International Justice Mission and other organizations, Pepperdine Law has established itself as a preeminent leader in the fight for global justice and the protection of the rule of law. Our students and faculty have served in more than 25 countries, working as judicial clerks for international supreme courts, documenting human rights abuses for later prosecution, preparing cases to expedite justice for children, and protecting the rule of law in numerous underserved countries around the world. The fight against injustice also continues at home through our experimental asylum clinic, where students work directly with religiously persecuted individuals seeking protection in the United States. Through our special education clinic, where students work directly with families of children with special needs to ensure they receive the educational opportunities they deserve. And through our legal aid and family law clinics at the Union Rescue Mission, where students serve the legal needs of the homeless and impoverished in inner city Los Angeles. 
In the past few years, six members of the United States Supreme Court have come to teach, speak, and inspire students at Pepperdine, taking part in important traditions such as the William French Smith Memorial Lecture Series, the Dalsimer Moot Court Competition, the Annual Law School Dinner, and the William Matthew Byrne Judicial Clerkship Institute. Additionally, Pepperdine was proud to be the first law school to host Lord Nicholas Phillips, the inaugural president of the Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Pepperdine's national academic reputation has rapidly advanced over the last several years as well. The Order of the Coif, a prestigious legal honor society that places emphasis on scholarly activity and faculty research, admitted Pepperdine Law in 2008, the only law school admitted since 2004, and the U.S. News and World Report rankings have shown Pepperdine to be the fastest rising law school in the country over the last five years. Pepperdine is truly a law school on the rise, training students each day for lives of purpose, service, and leadership throughout the world. Pepperdine Law School's recent growth in quality and reputation could not have occurred without the support of the university and the foundation that was built by Dean Phillips and many others throughout the years. We've truly soared under the leadership of Dean Ken Starr, and I'm convinced that our best days are still ahead. Each day at Pepperdine, our students help lead the future of this law school through their creative vision, their selfless service, and their hard work. But it's going to take all of us working together to provide our students and this school with the necessary resources and tools to reach our full potential. I had the privilege of attending Pepperdine Law School, and I am thankful for the amazing opportunity to teach thousands of students as a member of the faculty. Our alumni also deserve our thanks, as they are the best evidence of the wonderful successes that can occur when students are at the heart of the educational enterprise. Pepperdine Law School recently started a new giving program to encourage alumni and friends to commit 1% of their annual income in support of the school, the 1% Society. As they have done in so many other areas, our faculty have led the way with over 90% committing to join and 100% giving on some level. Through various small meetings across the country, more than 150 alumni and friends have already followed in the faculty's footsteps and invested in Pepperdine as charter members of the 1% Society. As an alumna and faculty member, I am proud to be a charter member, and I urge you to become a fellow member as well. I hope that you will consider furthering our progress by joining with these alumni, faculty, and friends through investing in Pepperdine's future. Thank you for your time, and God bless you and your families.